Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest video. Today I'm going to share a flip through of my completed A5 size creative journal. And I've been using this since October last year and it's been one of my absolute favourite journals to work in. I love this journal but it's also really seen me through some difficult times and some real highlights. This is an A5 dotted journal from London Gifties. I've already ordered my next one because I enjoyed using it so much. So you can kind of see the size difference there of how much I've added to it. And it has 160 GSM thick paper. And that's really enabled me to kind of play with different styles and experiment with things because it's held up to so many different mediums you'll see as I flip through. So these were my first pages and this was from October last year so I've been able to use watercolour and that was a tipping, I used that as a tipping card there just to remind me of that this came from Christine at London Gifties and I've got bits of collage there and a little reminder to myself to live in the moment. I then did some more watercolour and this was from a Jane Davenport book on faces and just some, a reminder to myself and I play around with my designs depending on how much writing I want to be able to add and I don't use this every day, sometimes I'll use it every day for a week and then don't touch it again for a few weeks, it just kind of depends what's going on and how much I feel I want to write. This was made using my first ever set of printables that I released on Patreon because I launched on there in November last year and lots of the things in here are from journal prompts that I released on Patreon or using printables or videos I filmed there. So this is just kind of things like my lesson from the day. Stop saying to people, yes, no problem, when I'm actually thinking, no, I really can't take on anything else at the moment. So I try to use this to kind of reflect on things that are going on. I've included my little pocket there with some messages of hope. I think it's been obviously such a strange time, hasn't it? So I've used this to try and help let out anything that I've needed to, but also kind of bring myself back to a place of positivity where I can. This was created using, I'm gonna call it my nemesis of art products, which is gouache. I love how it looks, but they're always streaky, but I was still really happy with how this turned out. So again here, another pocket, and this I was thinking about making sure that I still stayed strong and brave, and I loved that quote. I've not ceased being fearful, but I have ceased to let fear control me, and that's been really important for me. You know, over the last 18 months. So in here, I just wrote on the back of there some things that I felt I'd done that had kept me feeling courageous throughout this period. Again, I've used gouache there for that rainbow and I had lots that I wanted to get out and write on that particular day. Here I used a cutout, I think that was from the flow book for paper lovers. And again, some more patterned paper, watercolour splashes on the background, a little bit of stamping. So I'll write in there, today felt like another tough day, but then by the end, I'll be trying to think about what I can do to turn that around and make the next day just that little bit easier. And that was from the Tim Holtz um, word stickers book, and I love that, hold tight and pretend it's a plan. Again, that was gouache and I just masked off that area and did my little mountain scene along there. And that's why I mentioned this book's really encouraged me to take out supplies that I'm perhaps more nervous of using. I know that this paper, because it's really thick, is gonna hold up to pretty much anything I throw at it. And I didn't wanna be too limited by whether I was happy with how the pages turned out or not. I just wanted to be somewhere I could really express myself because that's just been so, so important to me. So that was a little check-in for the day of how I was feeling, what I was grateful for. 
That one I created almost like a kind of newspaper article by drawing lines down the middle and that's a nice way of kind of starting a journal page if you don't know how much you want to write and that A5 size is feeling a bit big. That's why I printed out some of my, uh, some more printables from Patreon. I like to keep use this journal as a record for kind of all sorts of things, things I've created, things I've been sent. Another little tipping card there, while I was writing about my proud moments of the month. And again, decorated some cards and popped some private thoughts on the back. This is where I sent some meatball washi tapes and some others from Christine at London Gifties. I wanted to do some swatches so that I remembered which ones I had and kind of as a reminder to use them in this journal. This was really simple pages, but I do like how they turned out. So some patterned paper and then brown paper on top to write on top of. And there I wrote myself a little reminder for the week. And again, big splash of patterned paper and I just added some stamping on top. And sometimes perhaps something, if I've listened to a podcast or read a book and there's one bit which really sticks with me, I'll use that as a prompt for the, those journal pages. That's why I then used those meatball washi tapes and added some stamping and coloured them in with pencil. And I love that dream, uh, that quote, sorry, build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. And I always try and keep that on my mind. And that's why I use my card then to write about my priorities, things that I really needed to focus on. That was that gorgeous coffee cup washi tape from London Gifties. So I found then a fun coffee quote to go with it. And this was getting up into the kind of Christmas period. So again, I've used a combination of my printables, watercolour, gel pens on top of those. And I started thinking about thoughts on that year and getting ready to move into 2021. And that's something I'll be doing again quite soon, obviously as we're getting towards the end of this year. So there's lots of stamping on the background uh, using a stencil and distress ink. And then this was where my daughter came home from university and we really started getting into the swing of things for Christmas and just making notes of the things that we did together, the Christmas movies we watched. As soon as she came home, we decorated the tree. So that was really nice. I got a knitting kit for Christmas and knitted a scarf. So I just love using my journal for those sorts of things. And I then printed out some photos of some of our favorite Christmas movies that we'd watched. And I always get asked which photo printer I use and it's the Brother Color Label Printer. And I'll try and remember to leave that linked down below. So that was just some sort of positivity pages and me thinking about what sort of things I need to do more of and do less of. I've just really loved using this journal for whatever I've needed on that particular day. Here I set my word for 2021, which was resilient. I just wrote the meaning there, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. And that was something I felt really strongly was something I needed to focus on for 2021, bearing in mind how 2020 had been. And I wrote down a bit about what lessons that I learned from 2020 and how I could use those to hopefully help me be stronger and more resilient in 21. Then I took some time to think about my biggest accomplishment of that year and then what my biggest goal would be for this year too. These pages I, phone, uh, I filmed for YouTube and that was where I created the little origami pockets and did watercolour kind of backgrounds and stamping. This was part of a series that I filmed for Everything Art, which was um, six episodes showing how to use um, different forms of lettering on your journal pages. 
There's some collage paper that I created and just again some th thoughts and a reminder to stay hopeful. This was something I worked with over on Patreon. It was one of the prompts that I set, which was to think about our own personal values and then how we can try and live in alignment with those. This was a bit of journaling about my dream life. So I printed out some photos of kind of, that just summarized my ideal kind of home setting, walks in nature, those sorts of things. my hopes and dreams for the future. Then did a review at the end of January and thought about some changes that I might want to make. This I filmed on YouTube and this was about letting out all of your negative feelings. So underneath that is all of the rubbish things that I was feeling and thinking at the time. And then I laid kind of mixed media, acrylic paint and things on top of that and replaced it with some more positive thoughts on this side. doing some watercolour and using that for blended colours in my lettering. Again this was part of something that uh, one of the prompts I set on Patreon which was to kind of set some mantras that you could read to yourself and I picked I live authentically and follow my dreams, I speak kindly and respectfully to myself at all times, I have a unique set of skills and talents which I can use to help others. I make a difference every day by showing up and doing my best. Whilst I seek to grow and improve every day, I'm already enough. And that was to really try and help me get myself in a positive frame of mind by having those there to remember. And then I did a kind of like collage page on this side. Again, lots of pattern paper, which is a really nice way to make a quick background. Using gouache again for a bigger rainbow this time. I then set my biggest goal for March and wrote down some thoughts on how I might be able to achieve that. Again, was another Patreon prompt writing a letter to my younger self, trying to what advice I would have given myself. Thoughts for a new month. So as you can see, sometimes it's every day and sometimes it can be a good few weeks in between each of the pages. Uh, this video, this page I filmed uh, for Patreon. And this was my end of quarter review and I completed a Dutch door. It took me ages to cut out all of those little bits around the brickwork, but I'm really happy with how that turned out. And I wrote some of my favorite quotes on the back there. For this one, I just did a watercolor swatches for the background of that page for to record things I was currently loving. Again, more kind of happy thoughts to myself. And again, that was using some of my Patreon printables. And this was a time where I was thinking a lot about my body and how I feel about it. And so I wanted to do a really positive page. And I kind of called it a million and one things to love about my body. So whilst I'm trying to work on my health and fitness, I want to do that from a place of being compassionate and kind to myself rather than beating myself up about anything. This one was using watercolour through a stencil. And that was the pages of I'm grateful for. And that was actually something that I did as a tutorial from my new book and I filmed that here on YouTube. This was doing a stamping and masking technique so that I could layer my stamped images. This again was another prompt on Patreon, so to draw around your hands and then write about the things that make us who we are. So I journal really about anything that's on my mind and so I set prompts every month and we work through those and just anything which helps to get those thoughts and feelings out onto paper. Again, another little origami envelope. 
And this is using some paper that I coffee dyed and adding collage images. This was from the flow book for paper lovers and I've just then added, used some white gel pen to add some extra details around the outside and that was for my half year review. That again was using the coffee dyed paper and I've cut the hole in the middle and then put that on that side. I really liked how that looked. Again, the coffee dyed paper, you can see I did lots of coffee dyeing and then used that on my pages. And I then used a punch, which you kind of stamp all the way along to get that lovely pattern along the outside of it. That was from my printables that month. Again, just thoughts about kind of what impact I wanted to have and you know, what I was working on at that time. And I love that idea, good pre people bring out the good in people. And I was thinking about who I've been lucky enough to connect with over the last 12 months and particularly how much that's meant to me when we've been more isolated from our normal world, the connections I've made with other people. This was a watercolour background and this was somewhere where I didn't have loads that I wanted to say but these lyrics have been in my mind so I just wanted to include them on that journal page. That's the watercolours and stenciling on the background. Thinking about getting it outside and how much good that does for me. Again that was from my printables. This one I've only just completed recently. I was thinking about my morning routine and I wrote on there kind of what my ideal routine would be and how I'd like that to pan out. And I just wrote on there, this is not just another day, this is yet another chance to make your dreams come true. Make the most of every moment, be grateful and spread kindness. And I've then picked up, I've used a stencil on the background there of the roses and used texture paste with that same stencil there. This I filmed for Patreon and it was kind of like a mixed media page on this side, which was using both acrylic and watercolour paint. One of my prompts for that month was to use some tissue paper as in your journal pages and this was sent to me in some happy mail, I think from Mini Smalls Patreon. So I used that and then added stenciling on the background. And for these, I used some kind of card, well, thick paper and added lots of stamping and acrylic paint and then cut them up to make leaves to kind of reflect the change in the seasons. This one I wrote just after dropping my daughter at university. This is some, I believe, Jane Davenport scra um, scrapbooking paper. And I was thinking about how I find it really hard, but I, how much I want her to hold on tight to her dreams and she's in her final year and just make the most of that time that she's got there. This one I painted the other day. I had those colours out on my desk for something else I was working on. Just wanted to add lots and lots of leaves to my journal pages. And these are my final pages. I actually wrote a little thank you to my journal here. I used the stamps from my product range with London Gifties, added some color to them, because that's been a real highlight of something that's happened where I've used these journals. And I just wanted to say kind of a thank you to my journal for being here and kind of seeing me through nearly a year in this journal. So I really hope you've enjoyed seeing this flip through and that maybe it's given you some ideas for your own journals. And as always, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who's joined me over on Patreon. I hope you're doing really, really well and I look forward to speaking with you really soon in my next video.